my point is for a Congress and a president who can't, not only can't deal with their $17 trillion debt today as we speak, but who can't even fulfill their commitments on Medicaid from the last budget. Last year, I had to put over $600 million in Medicaid just to cover cost to continue. More than a third of that, more than a third of that new money I had to put in to cover Medicaid was from the federal government backing off on reimbursements for Medicaid. So previous commitments, levels that they had set at, they backed away on. If they can't make their current commitments for a federal government where the Congress and the President can't even deal with the, their own debt and deficit issues, I just think it's, it's, it, it's a fool's bet to me, at least, that they're going to come through in the next few years when they can't cover what they have now. And it's not just in Medicaid. Medicaid's the most obvious connection because it's the same pot of money. But they don't make their special education commitment. They don't make their commitment a whole lot of other areas. So we're saying we should bet on a federal government that time and time again reneges on not all, but major portions of their commitments, has reneged even in this area in Medicaid, and now we're supposed to make an expectation to expand something on the promise that they're going to not only make up for what they reneged on before, but take on this huge amount going forward. I think that's a big challenge.